Welcome back fellow game players to part 2 of Sisyphus Reborn. Let's continue from where we left off. Now, where we left off is we are basically going to make a shovel and I know the materials I need. However, I'm not entirely happy about this choice because I kind of feel like I'm on the path to a bad ending here. But the last time I tried to ignore the digging bit, I just ended up in some crazy area where it just quit the game and that was it. So, kind of hoping that it's not the bad ending, but we'll find out anyway. Right, we need a stick. Get the stick, get the stick. I'll snap a piece of the branch off. Okay. Alright, now we need a rock. I uh, know where there's a big pile of rocks. Here we go. These must be the rocks collected by the diggers to make shovels. I'll take one with me. Alright, and finally grass. And there's only one area of the desert where the grass is growing. You can call it grass. All the way over here. See, this is a perfect example of how a game with very little graphic involved is absolutely brilliant as long as it's got a strong storyline. I mean, you've got all your 3D graphics and your textures and everything else, but you can't deny it, this is brilliant. It is an absolutely brilliant game. I'm very well into it. It's it's, it's, it's just good. There's nothing else to say. I'll take a piece of the grass. This grass seems almost petrified too. It is as if there is no life in this place at all. Now I have everything I need to make the shovel. I'll just uh, combine these together. Now I suppose I did. Where do I dig though? I think he mentioned he was going to dig at the very beginning, like back where we first started. But uh, I want to see what happens if we uh, try to dig with the others here. Can I continue from where they left off in this hole here? A hole in the ground that explains the pile of sand. I mean, the piles of sand explain the holes. Okay, can I dig the sand? The sand isn't as solid as it looks. Trying to climb it will we just pull it down. Okay, I can't touch any of that, so I'll, I'll just head back. Looks more like a spoon. I got me a spoon. A place that belongs to me. You mean the tunnel? The cave, sorry? I like that we can return back to where we begun, because there are many games that are quite linear it's nice to return back to the beginning. For a reason, of course, not just for, you know, austerity. Okay, do we start with this pile of rocks? I don't need another rock. These rocks are too heavy and round to use as a shovel. I already have a shovel anyway, and I don't want to dig up this pile of rocks. Okay, uh, the cave wall. I don't see any possible way out in this direction. No, oh, right, fine. All right, let's try uh, the water area. I wanted to bet that the uh, soil is nice and soft there. Oh, hang on. What? I can climb over this stalagmite now. Okay, fine. Let's go with your giant spoon. Okay, I guess we dig here. This could be the place to dig. Could be. Oh, right, I gotta click on the spoon, sorry. S shovel, not spoon, shovel. Sorry, it just looks so much like a spoon. Perhaps the water has weakened the rock. I might as well try to dig here. The cave floor, weakened by the water, breaks away with a little effort. Progress is slow, but aided by the continual flow of water.
I had made a choice that felt real to me. Whether my hand was forced or guided by a higher power. Whether there were other choices possible or not. None of this mattered anymore. I had ventured on a path that was now mine. It was bound to me and I to it. This path was my own, and nothing could change that. I would follow it to the end, and know that I had lived.